So in this video, we have a block of mass 12 kilos is initially at rest on a horizontal smooth plane. A force of 5 newtons is applied to the block parallel to the plane. Find the momentum of the block after 2 seconds. OK, so let's draw a quick diagram so we can visualise what's going on. Here's my block. and It's on a surface. It has a uh, weight of 12g. There'll be a normal reaction force. And a 5 newton force is being applied. And it's a smooth plane. OK, so from that, um, we can resolve to the right and find the acceleration of the block. So resolving to the right, we have 5 newtons, take away no frictional forces, is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So the acceleration will be 5 twelfths metres per second per second. We can now utilise the constant acceleration formulae. So see that. So it starts at rest. Um, it is accelerating at 5 over 12 metres per second per second. We want to know uh, the momentum after 2 seconds, so I'm going to put T as 2. And in order to calculate the momentum, I'm going to need uh, the velocity, because it's mass times velocity. So, the SUVAT formula that does not involve S is V equals U plus AT. So V is equal to 0 plus 5 twelfths times 2. And that's going to be equal to 5 sixths. And that's metres per second. So that's my velocity. So the momentum will be equal to the mass, which is 12, times by the velocity, 5 sixths. And that's going to be equal to 10. And that's Newton seconds. Now, the eagle-eyed among you may have thought, um, well, uh, I know that momentum is measured in Newton seconds. So Newton, Newtons times seconds is force times time. So why can't I just multiply the force, 5 Newtons, by the time 2 seconds? And then I get 10 Newton seconds. Now, in this situation, it will work because the object starts at rest. Um, what you're doing there is you're actually uh, calculating the change in momentum, uh, which is, when we get there, the impulse. Um, so the fact that it's gone from 0 up to 10 newtons per se newton seconds, you're essentially doing, well, the change in momentum is 10 newton seconds take away 0 newton seconds, and so it's 10. So you are getting the same result, but that is because uh, the block is starting from rest.